What's up, Wolverines? I'm Andrew Hernandez. And I'm Bo Humphrey. And welcome to another edition of WBLN. A hometown victory celebration for Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, took a violent turn Three on Wednesday as gunfire rang moment. out in the crowd. Interrupted lives. Authorities the say one person is dead and at least 20 others injured at, the, road at a shooting for the celebration for the team. The players from the Chiefs were Eight of those victims, according to the fire chief, what had immediate life-threatening injuries. A terrible Police say they detained the three Super people. Bowl rally. At least 20 people were shot when gunfire rang out at the end of the celebration. Turned into a tragedy. Paul Contreras and his daughter, Alyssa, were among the estimated one million revealers gathered at the rally. As the chaos and confusion it's began to erupt around them, man was one of the Contreras heard people shouting for help as a Guns man ran were by found them. At the scene, but many questions. It's unclear if that man was one of the three people detained by police. Guns were found at the scene, but not many questions have been answered yet. The American, uh, the American Mathematics, or AMC, is a multiple choice examination in middle and high school mathematics designed to promote the development skills and problem solving skills. The AMC 8 test is for middle school students. It has 25 questions and is 40 minutes long. The test provides opportunities for students to develop positive attitude towards analytical thinking and mathematics that can be assisted in future careers. Students apply classroom learning skills to unique problem solving challenges in low stress and friendly environment. 59 of our students in the Honors Algebra 1 course took the AMC 8 test on January 18th, along with others around the country. They all received a certificate of participation, as, they, as this exam is always challenging. Today, the following students received special certificates for their results. First place at our school, Be Beckett Castro. Tied for second place at our school, Mateus Bechewing and Santiago Mendez. Tied for third place at our school, Simon Padmore and Nicholas Zaksiewicz. Congratulations to these students and the rest of our students that took this righteous test. Also, thank you to math department, Mr. Ordenez and Mr. Mrs. Delgado for providing a great opportunity, students free of charge. Congratulations to our seven Silver Knight nominees. For over six decades, the Miami Herald has recognized students from the Miami-Dade and Broward counties for their selfless service and academic achievements. Our Silver Knight nominees for the 2023-2024 academic year are Jacob Cottle for Science, Andres Fernandez for World, Relig for World Languages, Armando Gonzalez for Vocational Technical, Diego Hamoud for Digital and Interactive Media, Nicholas Leon for Social Science, Juan Diego Messinger Grillo for Mathematics, Joaquin Messere and for General Scholarship. Good job, boys. Lawmakers are urging Americans to stay strong despite a, quote, serious national security th threat. A warning about it, it comes from the House Intelligence Committee Chairman, Justin Mallory, in the studio to tell us how the U.S. addressing the concern. Lawmakers are urging Americans to stay calm despite a threat to national security. Members of Congress and the Biden administration meeting with intelligence and defense officials today, according to National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, they're addressing what House Intelligence Committee Chair Mike Turner calls a serious national security threat. Multiple sources say it relates to Russia's space capabilities, specifically a nuclear anti-satellite system. It's not yet orbital, according to the three U.S. officials, and lawmakers with intelligence access are downplaying this concern.
What's up, Wolverines? I'm David Garrido, and here are your sports for today. Our Wolverines wrestling team fell slightly short on Tuesday in the district championship, although, as a team, they landed second. Senior David Torres and sophomore Jose Romano were district champions. Eight wrestlers from the team will advance to regionals. Fantastic job, and best of luck in regionals, Wolverines. Tomorrow night, our soccer team plays in the regional semifinal here at Belen versus Reagan High School. The game will be at 7 p.m. Come support our Wolverines. Tomorrow night's lacrosse game has been moved because of the regional soccer game here at Belen. The game will be played at Spanish River. Don't forget, the baseball team plays tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. versus Dade Christian at Westland Gardens Park. This will be their last game of the Matter Preseason Classic. Let's go support our Wolverines. That's all your sports for today. Thank you. Now back to Bo and Andrew at the desk. Thanks, David. That's all for the news today. Make sure you follow us on all social medias and stay safe. Stay golden, Wolverines.